Hi guys, and welcome back to Pandora's Box. This video is the second of a two part series on different ways to create a bootable backup of your OpenCore Hackintosh install using Big Sur and onwards. In the first video, we covered software backups utilizing the macOS installer's migration tool. I'll put a link in the description for that. In this video, we'll cover using backup hardware to clone your drive. So let's begin. This is the Meiwu, or is it Meiwu, M.2 docking station. It's a handy piece of hardware for transferring data across your M.2 drives, both SATA and NVMe. There are similar types of docking stations in other formats, but as most modern motherboards now have M.2 ports that people use for their boot drives, that's the format I'll be showing you the process for in this video. The Meiwu docking station, like this one, come in various setups. NVMe to NVMe, SATA to SATA, SATA to NVMe, and so on. With support for the different key types, B, M, etc. Some models include an SD card reader as well, but not all have the cloning ability. So you need to make sure that you get a model that does have that option. It's indicated by the button at the front. Now this is not a product review video, so I'll spare you the details of what's in the box. What I will say is that it can be used as standalone for cloning or connected via USB 3.0 to the computer for access to the two M.2s. Now the one I'm using in this tutorial is the SATA to SATA as a standalone device to clone our drive and I'll leave a link in the description below for that model. So firstly we need our two drives, one being your existing open core boot drive and the other being the one you want to back it up to. At this point, I should point out that any data you have on the drive you're backing up or cloning to will be overwritten and lost. As a tip, I've noticed that if the drive you're backing up to is not already formatted using the APFS file system, the cloning will take a little longer. So I would suggest you pre-format it to APFS using Disk Utility if you can. Once we've powered up the dock, we place the boot drive in the source slot, followed by the backup drive in the target slot. As you can see, it lights up nicely to show they're both active. Then we just hold down the cloning button for five seconds. Yes, that is my bear claw and it will start the process. Now, as it goes along, it will light up percentages to show you its progress. So you can now go make yourself a cup of coffee and take the time to click like and subscribe and maybe watch some more videos from the Pandora's Box channel whilst waiting. Yes, shameless plug, I know. I'll speed up the process in this video to keep the time down. Once it is finished, you can either connect the dock to your computer via USB 3, or as I'm doing here, place your backup drive in an external enclosure and use that to connect to your computer, which I will do now. Now I connect it to my Hackintosh here, and once it opens on the desktop, I'll open it up and you can see it's copied everything across. And most importantly, if I mount the EFI drive, you can see it's also copied across the contents of that too. So you don't need to go through the hassle of moving that onto the drive as it's already done via the cloning process. Now that whole process took roughly 15 minutes. So when you compare this to the process used in part one of these videos, which took around one and a half hours, using this device makes such a difference. You do have to account for the cost of hardware, but if you're using it every time prior to applying an open core or OS update, it makes such a significant difference in hours of your time. I hope these videos have helped you in creating bootable backups of your open core system. And as always, thanks for watching. And please click like, subscribe, and ring that bell for any future notifications of videos I upload.